In today's module, we're going to be looking at how do you actually poison large language models, right? And really the goal here is, is to actually affect the outcome of the GenI systems, right? So we want to basically say, you know, how can we manipulate the GenI systems to produce something that we want, right? And that's what the goal of poisoning here is. Now, large language models can be poisoned, right? So this is known forever, right? So poisoning may have, have been happening for a long time. Most people may not be actually be realizing this, right? So because it happens in the background, right? And large language models have been being developed for some time, right? So were they were they poisoned during this development time? That is the big question here, right? Now, if I look at in terms of how do I poison the actual large language models, one of the key areas is manipulation, right? So you want to manipulate what the large language models does, right? And we can do that through keywords, right? So we can focus on the keywords and we can actually focus on the models themselves, right? Now, the other aspects of poisoning is stealth attacks, right? So we can actually do these attacks discreetly, right? Uh, and again, if you look at large language models today, there's a lot of stealth around it. There's a lot of mystery around it. It is a black box, right? Um, and stealth attacks just makes it even more difficult to trace, right? Now, you can actually camouflage the attacks, right? So basically, you know, if we're accessing these models through APIs, uh, we make it sound like they're, they're, they're genuine, but they can be camouflaged with an attack inside those, right? So that's how we can also poison the LLMs, right? Uh, backdoor attacks, right? So these large language models, when they're built, they can have a backdoor to it, and that's another way we can poison them, right? Um, and large language models all depend on data sets. That's how we train them, right? So when we're importing large data sets into the large language uh, models, we can actually change them, manipulate them, alter the data, so those models are technically poisoned, right? Uh, and then the actual data itself. So large language models have to use data to learn, right? So data is central, is a key component. And if we poison the data itself, then we're actually taking a preemptive state towards the actual poisoning of the large language models. Now, another aspect of still on the theme of data is just like this large data sets, volumes of data that we use to train the models, right? Most of the data sets can be unlabeled, right? So we can actually label those data sets the way we want them, right? So that's another way of poisoning uh, large language models, right? Focusing on labeled and labeling the way we want them to do, right? And then obviously there is weight po poisoning, right? So this is a technique where you put certain weights uh, that determines the outcome of from the large language model. So what we could do is poison these weights so they favor some kind of additional response the way we want them to do, right? So that's a technique, weight po weights within large language models, and we just directly poison them, okay? Now, if you look at all of these, these are poisoning attacks in some shape or form because the end goal is to basically alter the Gen I system to the way we want it to respond. Now, once large language models are poisoned, keywords no longer matter, right? Because technically, you know, you can actually enter your keywords you want, but the large language model is poisoned and is designed to respond or provide output or results the way we want it, right? So therefore, the keywords no longer matter. Or does it? Right, you know, that's a different kind of like a scenario. So let's explore that for a moment, right? So consider the possibility that large language models can be poisoned, right? For the good this time. So on the previous slides, we talked about all the different ways, you know, where we poison something for a not so good approach, right? So in, in terms of a, a, a vulnerability or in terms of an attack, but there are scenarios where we want to poison the actual large language models, right? And a specific scenario here is search engines. If you look at in terms of a search engine, right, we want to favor specific keywords, response, uh, responses due to marketing, um, advertisements, etc. right? So that's a good example where, where an LLM can be poisoned for the good. Uh, and that concludes today's module. Thank you.